This module will demonstrate how accounting transaction analysis is completed. You will see how a series of company activities are turned into financial entries in the accounting equation. During the module, each transaction will be described in plain language and will then be interpreted into values that can be used to enter information into the accounting system. Amna Khoury has recently graduated from college and is now going to use what she learned by starting her own business consulting firm. She wants to help business grow in her country and feels that this is the best way to do so. During her first month of operations, she completed a number of financial transactions and now has to enter them into her accounting and information system. She remembers that each of these transactions must fit the accounting equation she learned in school. Before creating journal entries for the accounting system, Amna decides to put them together in a table that follows the format of the accounting equation to make sure that everything will be in balance. Before recording the first transaction, notice how the titles have been laid out in the same way as the accounting equation. The assets on the left are separated by a line from the liabilities plus equity section on the right. The titles below show the accounts that Amna thinks she will need to record her monthly transactions. The asset accounts are listed under the asset part of the equation, while the liability and equity accounts are listed under their proper titles. This arrangement will help to keep the entries in balance by showing where they are entered in the equation. To start her business, Amna realized that she needed some capital. She had saved some money over the years and had some equipment she had purchased as well that would be useful for the business. After researching the market value of the equipment she had, Amna invested 50,000 dirhams in cash and the equipment that had been valued at 25,000 dirhams. Since cash is something of value the company controls, it is an asset and entered into the cash account on the left side of the equation. It is also entered as a positive number since the transaction increases that account. Equipment 2 is an asset and is entered as part of this transaction, also as a positive number because of its increase. Since the accounting equation must always be in balance, a value must be entered on the right side of the equation. In this case, since this was an investment made in the company by the owner, the entry, equaling the two asset values, is entered into the capital account as a positive number. Needing a place to have her office, and wanting to have a permanent place to call her own, Amna purchased a building she found for 200,000 dirhams. She paid for it with 40,000 dirhams in cash and signed a note payable indicating her promise to pay the balance of the amount over the following three years. We can begin this transaction by recognizing the fact that Amna has given up a portion of her cash assets as part exchange for another asset, the building. Because this transaction reduces cash, we enter the value as a negative number. Next, she enters the actual cost of the asset she's received, the building. Notice that we have both a positive and a negative value on the same side of the equation. To find out what value needs to be entered on the other side of the equation, add the two numbers together. The amount of money that must be paid back is 160,000 dirhams. The price of the building less the cash paid. Amna now purchases some office supplies for 5,000 dirhams cash. The company's cash is reduced by the amount of the purchase. The other side of the equation increases another asset, supplies, by the same amount. Since exchanging one asset, cash, for another asset, supplies, results in a net change of zero to the asset side of the accounting equation, there is no entry to be made to the equation's right side. Amna needed some new equipment for the office, which she purchased on credit for 27,000 dirhams. 
the first entry in this transaction is to increase the equipment account by the actual cost of the equipment purchased. Since the equipment was purchased on credit, there is no entry to the cash account. However, we must record the amount of the liability that needs to be paid in the accounts payable account. This entry allows the accounting equation to remain in balance. Amna now begins work on her first contract, a business plan for a new electronics store. Completing the contract, she gives her client an invoice for 5,000 dirhams. The client does not pay her immediately, but agrees to do so in 30 days. Because the client did not pay Amna immediately, she still records the transaction in her accounting system, but increases the value of her account's receivable account rather than cash to show that she has earned the money and therefore has had an increase in her assets. The other side of this entry recognizing Amna's revenue is made to the revenue account, which is part of the group of equity accounts. Since this entry is an increase, the equation remains in balance. Realizing that, while she has had a contract, she still needs to market her business, Amna pays a local newspaper 800 dirhams cash for an advertisement promoting her business. Because she paid cash for this advertisement, Amna must decrease her cash account by the amount she spent. The other side of this transaction involves expenses, also part of the equity section of the equation. Notice how Amna enters this value as a negative number, even though the expenses have increased. This is because she needs to show how the entry affects her equity. Since the expenses account is part of equity, increasing expenses would decrease her net income, thereby decreasing her equity. Because of her advertisement and some personal contacts, Amna is able to obtain a larger contract creating a strategic plan for a car dealership in Abu Dhabi. When she completed the contract, she provided an invoice to the firm's accountant, who immediately gave her a check for the full amount of the invoice, 22,000 dirhams. Since Amna received cash for this contract, she increases the value of the cash account by the amount received for the job. Since the job has been completed, the other side of this entry is made to the revenue account, recognizing the earnings. Now that Amna has received some cash for her work, she can start to pay off some of her liabilities. To do this, she makes a payment of 3,000 dirhams toward the 27,000 dirham credit account she created when she purchased her equipment earlier. Moving from the left side of the equation to the right, first record the reduction of the cash account caused by the payment. On the other side of the equation, record the reduction to the account's payable account resulting from the payment. Amna has received 4,000 dirhams from the client to whom she recently delivered services for 5,000 dirhams. She deposits this money into her company bank account. An increase to the cash account records the receipt of cash from the customer. A reduction of the account's receivable balance shows how the customer's liability has been reduced with the payment of cash. At the end of the month, Amna pays her office secretary's wages, 2,000 dirhams, in cash. Payment of the wages results in a decrease of the cash account. The reduction in assets resulting from the payment of cash is balanced by a reduction in equity caused by the increase in wages paid. At the end of the month, Amna considers the success of her business. 
To help support her own lifestyle, she withdraws 2,400 dirhams cash. The cash Amna takes from the company is recorded as a reduction of the cash account. Since the cash taken from the company is not an expense, but a reduction in the capital Amna has previously invested, the amount is recorded in the withdrawals account, which will be subtracted from capital. Once the entries for the month have been made, each account is totaled. Some balances will be positive, while others, such as withdrawals and expenses, will be negative. When the asset account totals are added together, they must equal the sum of the liability and equity account totals. If not, there is an error in the entries that must be found and corrected. Completing a transaction summary is not the same as the regular activities carried out to enter transactions into an accounting information system. However, it is an important step for every transaction whether it is completed on a spreadsheet or paper, or perhaps even in your head. Analyzing transactions helps you to make correct decisions in determining the accounts to which they should be posted. Completing a good analysis in the beginning helps to prevent errors which can be very time-consuming later in the accounting process. The next step in becoming familiar with the accounting process will be to learn how to create journal entries. These entries will use information from source documents and the analysis you have learned about here to enter data that will ultimately help you create accurate and effective financial statements. These statements will help to communicate financial information to your organization's stakeholders. This communication is, after all, one of the most important parts of accounting.